Christopher Nolan is probably one of the best directors working today. His films, while not always easy to understand, are always epic blockbusters of massive scale with a good amount of heart most of the time. But of his films that I've watched, at least, one stood out to me as his best, or at least my favorite of his work. That film, as you may have guessed based on the title of this video, is Dunkirk, the 2017 war film based on the events of World War II. It is pretty different compared to his other works. The one thing that stood out to me the most, though, is how throughout the entire film's runtime, we never once see the enemy. A lot of modern day war movies or action movies that have events in a war tend to glorify the events in that war. They show heroes shooting rows of enemies without a second thought. Even some movies that hope to portray war in a negative light fall to this at points. But Dunkirk does things differently. In the entire hour and 46 minute runtime, we never once see the enemy. We see their bullets, their planes, their ships, but never them, not clearly at least. The entire time, we're focused on one of the three points of the film's split timeline. Why does this matter? Well, it matters because of that focus on our protagonists. We sometimes witness brave acts of heroism in the film, and even hope near the end of the film. But for most of the runtime, we only see the struggles. We witness the soldiers on the beachfront trying to escape as their allies die around them. We watch pilots struggle to take down a few other fighter crafts and we see a group of everyday citizens trying to help evacuate soldiers from the beach. But we never really see them fight, except for in the plane scenes. This, in my opinion, is vastly different to most other war films, where we are smack dab in the middle of the action. Instead, we watch people just trying to survive most of the time. We see the terrors they see, the death they're surrounded by, but never the battle. We just see the effects of those battles, but never the battles themselves which stops it from glorifying war like most other movies. It doesn't glorify war, it depicts the effects of it spectacularly. Thanks to its amazing acting, sound design, and direction all around, we feel the same terror as hope is nearly lost. But even through all that horror, Dunkirk still manages to stay hopeful. It doesn't treat those who were evacuated as cowards, but instead as heroes for surviving. It shows the hope of saving people, because at the end of the day, war is about protecting people. That's what makes me love Dunkirk so much. It doesn't shy away from showing how absolutely terrible war can be, but it doesn't shy away from showing that there is hope either. It's a balance, and that balance makes it my favorite Christopher Nolan film.